Welcome to this House of Books Fast Recommendations. This House of Books is a member-owned cooperative bookstore in Billings, Montana. On this show, member owners recommend three books and for 15 seconds to one minute for each book, they will state why they like it. Our guest for today is Marion Kirst. She's an entomologist and has some recommendations for books for children. So take it away, Marion. Well, cool. thanks, Mark. Thanks for having me. So um, my book's recommendations are going to be um, nature and or invertebrate related books for kids. And because my daughters are young, um, my oldest is only three and a half. These books are, you know, they're not super um, sophisticated necessarily, but they're, I think that they're some of the best out there for introducing young kids to the world of invertebrates and also just to nature in general. And so I'll start with the first one is fairly recent. It's called Some Bugs and it's by um, Angela Ditter Lizzie, I think is her name. Um, and it's illustrated by Brendan Wenzel, who's a powerhouse in the children's book illustration world. He, his illustrations are just wonderful. I love this book. It's a little board book. And um, I really like this one because it introduces kids to bugs in a way that is fun. It's not scary. It's um, the illustrations are whimsical, but they're also accurate. So he uses actual species in the book. The other thing I really like about it is that it encourages kids to get down, get kneel down, get close to the dirt, um, and to explore just their backyard, that you don't have to go to a special place to see these creatures. You can do this in your backyard. And so at the very end, the book zooms out and shows all the different bugs that you've been introduced to in the different nooks and crannies of this little kid's backyard. And I just love that. I think it's great. So next one, this one's older. It's called Be Nice to Spiders by Margaret um, Bloy Graham. And this one is one of my all time favorite books because it's about a spider named Helen. She's the main character and she basically helps save a zoo by eating all the flies that are bothering the animals and the visitors. And I love this book because it is, it, the title says it all, be nice to spiders. They're super useful. And she does a great job of making this little spider named Helen um, become the hero of the story. And I just think it's wonderful. And the illustrations are fantastic. And the last one is called The Salamander Room. So this one isn't exactly about, specifically about invertebrates, but it's about a little boy who brings a salamander home as a pet and quickly realizes as his mother starts to ask him questions about what it's going to eat. Um, oh, it's gonna eat insects. I'll bring all those insects into my room. Well, what are the insects gonna eat? Oh, they'll eat birds, so I'll bring all those birds into my room, but where will the birds live? Oh, well, I'll plant trees in my room. And you quickly begin to realize in this wonderful subtle way with these beautiful kind of creamy illustrations that the best place for nature is out in nature and that that's where children want to be. They basically wanna sleep out in nature if they could have their wish. And I think that that's just a lovely message. So. I think these are all really fantastic books. Um, they're, you know, from old, I think Be Nice to Spiders was written in like 69 or 59, um, you know, so there's some old ones, but, and some more recent ones, but I think they're all really wonderful for kids, especially young, young kids, um, and especially kids that have, you know, curiosity about the natural world, which I all love. kids do and should. <laughs> I love and the recommendations. Favorite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Marion. You're welcome. Appreciate thanks it. for having me. Okay.